All right, so the video, this video has 20 views. As of 1845 Universal Coordinated Time on December 5th, 2023, had 53 views. I wanted to tell you right away because I wasn't going to kind of lead you on and be like, wait till the end of this video when I tell you how many views. Not going to do that to you listeners. That's not how I roll. So I'm going to talk about what this all means for Life's Potluck Buffet and for me, John Paulus, on today's episode. So stick around. I think you're going to like it. Okay. Question one. Am I ever going to change the title of this video has 20 views? No. And I'll explain why in this video. And it ta- it'll take a little bit of time to explain. So this is not me l- leading you on so as to increase the time that this video is viewed. But because, I, well, it deserves a little bit of an explanation. Okay, so let me first off say that the video has had 6,300 impressions in the last 24 hours. And so the click-through rate is actually pretty low. It's 0.6%, I think. So the impressions are the number of times it's delivered to, the you know, basically the, the that little rectangle with the video in it is delivered to you your your eyes in some way to your screen and that could take a number of forms of places it could appear and then the click through rate is how many people click on it when they get the impression delivered to them so that is Kind of interesting. It's much lower than the most popular video in terms of click through rate on Life's Pilot Buffet, which is Make People's Days, where I talk about the rock and feature that poem, The Rock at a Stoplight. I'll put that in the description and also I'm going to put that, um, I'll put a card in maybe uh, so that you can click on it from here if you want to go see that video. But if you want to know about why I'm not changing the title, of this video has 20 views, well, we're going to have to take a moment because Life's Potluck Buffet, what is it based around? Those of you who are new to Life's Potluck Buffet, and thank you for subscribing, thank you for viewing, thank you for liking, and thank you for commenting. I'm so glad you did, and I really, really appreciate it. And hello to you. So the rule number two of Life's Potluck Buffet is... Be like Salvador Dali, the surrealist. I'm not going to say artist or painter because Salvador Dali was Salvador Dali. We went through this and we've gone through this many times and we know about that show he was on, that that game show he was on in 1957 where he broke the, the game show about occupations by basically being everything. And that's Salvador Dali for you. So the cards yesterday, when I drew the card, when I drew card 20, that was the card that told me, and because I asked the cards, what is the view count going to be 24 hours from now? Or how, how, many video, you know, how many views will this video have in 24 hours or so, something like that? I pulled card 20 from the deck. And I think the card showed me card 20 because they wanted me to make this podcast surrealist. And how does that work? Well, there's another surrealist that you may know, and you probably know his painting, his famous painting, which is called in French. And I'm going to say a lot of French words in the next few minutes. So if Nelly is listening, uh, of of Francais avec Nelly, uh, tell me how I'm doing. And also, if you are interested in Francais and in learning a lot about French, then definitely check out I'll put, I'll, I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll do the at sign with Nelly's um, channel in the, in the um, 
description because her, I really like her videos a lot, especially the ones where she um, talks about variations on phrases in French so that you can say uh, something kind of a different way and not just be like a kind of one trick pony when it comes to French expressions, you know, so you could like have a variety of expressions. We, you know, we love variety here on Life Spot Look Buffet. Okay. So there's a painting by René Magritte called La Trahison des Images, The Treachery of Images. And you know it because it's that painting of the pipe that says below it, Ceci n'est pas une pipe. This is not a pipe. And, well, how does that work with surrealism? Well, René Magritte said to uh, people who said, come on, are you just being silly? That's a pipe. That's, you know, what are you trying to say? He's trying to say, and he said, well, you can't fill that pipe. You can't use that pipe, right? It's, it's just a picture, silly. It's not a pipe. It's a painting. It's a picture, an image of a pipe. And so, I will say that this video has 20 views. I mean, that video that has 20 views. Cette vidéo-là a été vue 20 fois. Because you know what? It was viewed 20 times in 24 hours. It was just viewed a lot more than that. It was viewed 33 more times after that 20 times. So it's not wrong. It's just surreal. It's surreal. Because Life's Potluck Buffet, at its heart, is about the surreal. And the importance in our lives of thinking and imagining and being like a surrealist and understanding ourselves and our world in a way that is astonishingly different from how we have understood it before. And that is what Life's Potluck Buffet is really all about. Okay. So, it's time to draw a card for today on this very special day, on this momentous day of surrealism. So, here we go. The bottom of the deck has the card I drew yesterday, card 20. Put on your oxygen mask first, then make sure to help others. And that's card number 20, because it tell, it, that was the card that I pulled when I said, how many views will the, the video have in 24 hours? All right, so here we go. I'm going to shuffle first. One, two, three. You know, I do three casual shuffles. And then I am going to draw this card. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to shuffle it one more time. Give it a fuller shuffle. Backing away from the mic so that I don't blow up the mic. Shuffling is really loud on in the microphone. All right. And then I'm going to look for a gap. I see one right here. Oh, don't want to lose it. I always look for the gap in the cards, as you know, to see where the cards want me to draw from. Here we go. Here's our card for today. It's a wild card. It's the one star wild card. Oh my goodness. This is card 53. There were 53 views of that video. This is getting like, this is getting David Blaine-esque. Is it David Blaine? Is that the guy's name? <laughs> no, Chris. Chris uh, Angel. Chris Angel-esque? I don't know. This is just getting freaky. Are they, is that Chris Angel, a magician? I don't know. Anyway, this is getting freaky because this is card 53. It's the wild card that talks about, say, a tagline. Uh, I was talking about this the other day, but um, 
It's the one star wild card, which means it's the first of the three wild cards, which makes it card 53, which is the card that corresponds to the number of views of the, this. Um, okay. I shouldn't be surprised because this has happened before, but there, there you have it. Thanks, cards. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you listening, tuning in, but listening to the magic of the Life Spot Look Buffet card deck. It's a pretty magical deck. And I'll see you next time on Life Spot Look Buffet, where who knows what will happen. Have a great day. A bientôt.